Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I will show you how to crochet the mulberry shawl. For this project, you'll need a six and a half millimeter K crochet hook. And I used two skeins of Lion Brand's homespun yarn. The original shawl was crocheted in the ambrosia colorway. And the finished shawl measures about 16 inches wide. And you can really make this shawl as long as you like. If you are crocheting the shawl for charity, however, a lot of places recommend making your shawl four feet or less so it doesn't get tangled in wheelchair wheels. So to make your shawl, we're going to put a slip knot on our hook. And before I start, whenever I use homespun yarn, I like to just give the bottom a fresh cut and just put a little knot at the bottom because sometimes it tends to um, unravel a little bit. So just put a little knot at the bottom and that'll keep everything in place because it does like to kind of pull apart. So we'll put a slip knot on our hook and then chain 34. To make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and pull it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34. So here is our starting chain for our shawl. And for the first foundation row, we're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So Lion Brand's homespun yarn is very fluffy and the strands are kind of wiggly looking. So you might have to kind of feel for the chains. So one, two, three, and four, right there in this chain here, we're gonna work a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into the chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Next, we're going to make a double crochet in each chain all the way across to the very end. So we'll work a double crochet. Double crochet. Double crochet. And we'll just keep doing this in each chain all the way across to the end. So here we are coming up to the end of the row. We've put a double crochet in each chain all the way across. And here we are at the very last chain. We'll just put a double crochet. So this completes the foundation row. One double crochet in each chain. To go on to the next row, we'll chain one, two, three, turn, and this pattern, all the stitches are worked into the spaces rather than the stitches. So just to show you here, this right here, this little hole up here, this would be the stitch. But we're going to work into the space. Okay? So for this row, we're going to work a double crochet in each space 
all the way across. Just like that. And like I said before, the yarn is very fluffy. So you might have to like feel around for those spaces in there. And we'll go ahead and work one double crochet in each space. So here we are coming up to the end of the row. We've put a double crochet in each space all the way across. So just work a double crochet in that last space. And then you also want to work a double crochet in the turning chain space as well to finish up the row. So we here we have the next row complete. Looks just like that. So to go into the next row, we'll chain three. One, two, three. And this next row is the eyelet row, or the decorative holes that you see. So we chain three and we turn. Now we're going to work a double crochet in the first space here. Just like we've been doing in the spaces versus the stitches. Then we're going to chain two. And then we'll skip the next space. And in the space after that, we'll work another double crochet. chain two again, skip the next space, in the space after that, we'll work a double crochet. So you'll just keep working in this sequence by working chain two, skip the next space, in the space after that, double crochet, chain two, skip the next space, in the space after that, work a double crochet, and we'll do this across the entire row. And here you can see the eyelets forming. So here we are coming up to the end of the row here. We just worked a double crochet, chain two, we skipped the next space and worked it in the space after that. So we're working our last double crochet, chain two, and then skip the next space. And in this last turning chain space, work the last double crochet of the row. So here we have the last row complete. You can see those decorative eyelet holes all the way across. So for the next row, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and turn. Then we're going to work two double crochet in each one of these spaces all the way across. So double crochet, and the second double crochet into this space, so it'll look like that, and we'll work a double crochet in the next space, and the second double crochet in that space there. First double crochet in the space, second double crochet in the space, and we'll keep doing this across the row. So we're coming up to the end here, and we've just worked two double crochets in each one of these eyelet holes. Just like that. And then just work one double crochet in this turning chain space to finish off the row. And that completes this row here. To go on to the next row, chain three, one, 
two, three, and turn. And then we'll just work one double crochet in each one of these spaces all the way across. Again, we're working in the spaces versus the stitches. So double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, all the way across in each space. Coming up to the end of the row here, we just worked a double crochet in each space. I just worked one in the last space. And then you'll also want to work a double crochet in the turning chain space to finish off the row. And that completes row four. Just like that. And then we'll chain three. One, two, three, and turn. And begin row five. Row five is worked the same way as row four. Just double crochet in each one of these spaces all the way across. I'll just do the first few here just to show you, but you're just repeating the row prior, row four. And then you'll, you'll do that all the way across and do the double crochet in the turning chain space just like we did for row four. So this is the beginnings of our mulberry shawl. And to complete your shawl, you'll just repeat rows two through five over and over until you get the length that you like. You can really make this as long or as short as you want. And again, if you are making this for charity, for a hospice center or a hospital or someone you know, you can, um, I would recommend, and, and most places will recommend, making these four feet or less so they don't get tangled in the wheelchair wheels. They can still comfortably wrap around a person but not get caught in the wheels. And I really like using this homespun yarn for charity projects because it comes in a lot of pretty colorways and it's washable, which is good for charity projects. Some places like to sterilize um, pieces that people make and also it's very soft so it's um really good for charity projects however you can make this for whoever you want including yourself and so this concludes our mulberry shawl tutorial thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest fiberflux video updates thanks again